Are you digging up the dirt on your dead? Want to find out how? Hear the latest on new family history sources and websites with interesting and fun guests and experts. Find out what other people have been learning about their ancestors. From kings to thieves, inventors to farmers, nothing that's been discovered should surprise us anymore, but it always does. Find out what we mean. Great family history stories and information are on the way now with Extreme Genes, Family History Radio, and ExtremeGenes.com. Grandpa stole his first buggy in 1892. Uh, I met your grandma, Pig Sloppin', in 46. Oh, every Christmas we'd visit my Uncle Fred in prison. Greetings, genies throughout the land, and welcome to another edition of Extreme Genes, Family History Radio and ExtremeGenes.com, America's family history show. Can I tell you how hard it is to fit all that in a logo? I am Fisher, your radio root sleuth on the show where we shake your family tree and watch the nuts fall out. Well, I've got to tell you how beneficial it is that so much photo sharing is going on right now online. Just this week, I found three new pictures of a relative who was a policeman beginning in 1900, and someone was good enough to dig out and scan a picture of him from maybe 1910, where he's posed lurking over the top of some laborer, threatening to pop him with his billy club. It's hysterical. And if you've got one-of-a-kind ancestral pictures, make sure you share them. You will make somebody's day. I'll tell you that you'll have several days made for you next month when the 5th Annual Roots Tech opens up on Thursday, February 12th, running through Saturday the 14th in Salt Lake City, Utah. And this year, for the first time ever, they are conventioning with the Federation of Genealogical Societies, meaning more genealogical classes than ever, more new products to be found, more inspiring keynote speeches. It's going to be awesome. Even if you can't be in Salt Lake City, there will be ways for you to participate online. We'll get the entire story from Jen Allen of Family Search coming up in less than six minutes. This is going to be like the Super Bowl, the World Series, the NBA Finals, NCAA Tournament of Genealogy all rolled into one. Then later in the show, we'll talk to a Missouri woman who recently lost her mother, which resulted in her finding a family history treasure no one knew mom had. What was it and what's she doing with it? We will find out later in the show. It is time once again for your family histoire news from the pages of ExtremeGenes.com. We begin with the discovery of a historic photo of a man named Fulmouth Carney of Moneygall County Offaly, Ireland. I hope I got that right. I don't want to offend the Irish. Carney was an ancestor of a woman named Merlin White. Merlin, a true blue genie, was researching her family in Scotland recently, where she was told that she was a third cousin once removed from the president of these here United States, Barack Obama. That information led her to revisit a photo album given to her by a great aunt who lived to be 107. In the album, she found images of Carney and his wife, Charlotte. It was professional researcher Megan Smolniak who first made the identification of this man as the ancestor of the president, as well as Merlin. It wasn't that long ago that Fulton Carney's unmarked Kansas grave was discovered and received a headstone after 136 years. Fulmouth, according to Smolniak, was the most recent American immigrant on the president's mother's side, having arrived in 1850. It was his identification that led to the president visiting Ireland in 2011. You know, you got to admit, presidents have it way too easy when it comes to family research. But for Merlin White... She's now got quite a story. See the link to all this with the pictures of the president's ancestral couple at ExtremeGenes.com. Hey, are you looking for 19th or 20th century British wills? The Daily Mail reports that your quest may have just gotten a little easier. The British government has released online the wills of 41 million people, the earliest dating back to 1858. 
Until now, you could find wills back to 1996 online, but this new release adds 138 years to the stash of available online probate records. You can search the records for free and obtain an electronic copy for £10. Included in the wills are those of Sir Winston Churchill and Charles Dickens. You can also see the wills of people like Alan Turing, who cracked the Enigma Code that helped end World War II in Europe, and Winnie the Pooh creator A.A. A. Milne. Last year, to commemorate the centennial of the First World War, the British released the wills of 280,000 World War I soldiers, many of whom died in action. It's impressive work considering each of the 41 million wills, which typically contained more than one page, had to be scanned, uploaded, and stored, one at a time. And you think your job is tedious. To look through the index, go to gov.uk slash search dash will dash probate to create a free account. That's gov.uk slash search dash will dash probate. And if you missed that, find the link to all this information now at extremegenes.com. And that is your family histoire news for this week. And by the way, consider yourself invited to like our Extreme Genes Facebook page. It's a growing community of genies just like you. And frankly, it's not the same without you. And coming up next, we're going to get the entire rundown on the mega convention we call Roots Tech FGS, which is just weeks away from Jen Allen of FamilySearch.org. And no matter where you are, you can be part of it. That's in three minutes on Extreme Genes, America's Family History Show. Genies, not long ago, something happened with one particular online research service that changed everything. It happened with a service that already has 75 million members worldwide, and it's not who you think it is. Hi, it's Fisher, and you know I'm always looking for new and better ways for you to discover your ancestors, not just the data, but the stories. The online service I'm talking about takes your family tree and then uses its powerful automated technology to match the people in your tree to over 5 billion records from around the world. Censuses, newspaper stories, vital records with 97% accuracy. This means no more wading through thousands of useless so-called hints. This also means the site itself is constantly looking for matches for you even while you're sleeping. What site does all this? It's MyHeritage.com. You can try MyHeritage.com for free. Here's a special gift from me. Use discount code ExtremeGenes after signing up and get an exclusive 20% discount at MyHeritage.com. It will soon be here again, the largest family history event in the world. It's the fifth annual Roots Tech Conference in Salt Lake City, Utah, February 12th through the 14th, 2015. Hosted by Family Search, Roots Tech is the perfect place to discover and share family connections, past, present, and future. Keynote speakers like family man and entertainer Donny Osmond and the founder of the upcoming global family reunion, A.J. Jacobs, will inspire and entertain you. Explore the massive expo hall with hundreds of technology and family history exhibitors. Visit the world-renowned Salt Lake Family History Library right across the street and choose from more than 200 educational classes taught by family history professionals. Early bird pricing is just $159 for a three-day pass. But hurry, it's only available for a limited time. Find out more now and get registered at RootsTech.org. That's RootsTech.org. It's RootsTech 2015, February 12th through 14th at the Salt Palace Convention Center in Salt Lake City, Utah. While we all love diving into the deep end of our gene pool, don't forget about capturing the histories of those who are still with us. Go to StoryWorth.com to start your family's story today. Each week, StoryWorth.com will email a question to people whose stories you wish to preserve. Questions like, tell us about the day you got engaged, or what do you remember about your grandmother? All they have to do is reply with a story, either by email or by telephone. That story is then forwarded to the family and securely stored in a private online storybook. It doesn't get any simpler. You can enroll up to six storytellers for, get this, just $49 a year. You'll get a free one-month trial, and for a limited time, Extreme Genes listeners get an additional 10% discount at StoryWorth.com slash Extreme Genes. That's StoryWorth.com slash Extreme Genes. Is your family story worth 13 cents a day? Sign up now at StoryWorth.com slash Extreme Genes. Simple, secure, effective. Your story is worth telling.
Welcome back to Extreme Genes Family History Radio at ExtremeGenes.com. It's America's Family History Show. And I, I got to tell you, here coming up in just a few weeks, it's kind of like the Super Bowl, the World Series, uh, the gaming championships, uh, the, everything all rolled into one because this year in Salt Lake City, Utah, Roots Tech and the FGS Convention for Family History are all going to be happening at the same time. And that means lots going to be going on. And to help us figure out what we're going to be participating in, Jen Allen is with us from FamilySearch.org. Hi, Jen. Good to have you Hi. on the show. Thank you. Thanks. It's, it's great to be here. I, yeah, I'm excited about this. I, I did my first booth there last year for Extreme Jeans, and I'll be there again this time around. And so much is going on constantly. I, I don't think I realized till the first time through, you really got a plan for this. It's almost like going to Disneyland. That's right. And of course, it's the happiest place as well. Yes. <laughs> A lot of discovery going on there. And uh, let's talk about some of the highlights. Maybe we start with some of the keynote speakers that are going to be there this year. We got some big names coming in. We have some really big names, and we are excited for the um, experiences that they'll bring with us and likely the inspiration that they'll leave with us um, after the, the stories that they share and the things that they're going to talk about in their own families. Uh, the, the biggest one that we're very excited about will take place Friday morning, uh, February 13th, during the conference, and we're welcoming former First Lady Lara Bush. And she'll be there to share some experiences, like I said. And and then later, we'll be joined by her daughter, Jenna Hager, and in kind of an interview-style keynote where her daughter will ask her mom some questions about their own family, about some stories in their past and experiences that they've had in life, uh, both in and out of the White House. Well, and the Bush family line is actually unbelievable. It goes deep back into New England as well as into Virginia, and they say that, that President Bush was actually the first president, the early President Bush, was the first president to actually be related to like one-third of the population of America. That's, that's right. They have a very rich history, even, you know, in their ancestral lines, as well as obviously the, the public stuff that we've all heard and seen, and, and some of those even more private stories that maybe we haven't heard. That'll be interesting. Who else do we have in? So we are also really excited to welcome uh, Donnie Osmond, who will be joining us on Saturday, February 14th. Uh, as we all know, a very big singer, entertainer, and loves to be on stage. And we're excited to see kind of a different side of him, not necessarily razzle and dazzle like he does so well, but uh, sharing some more intimate stories about his family and the people who have inspired him through life. Boy, and what a family history they've made moving forward, huh? That's right. Exactly. I mean, what are they? He's one of like eight siblings or something like that. And then all of them have huge families as well. So that their reunions have to be enormously expensive. It's I don't know massive, how they do it. I'm sure. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> all right. So those are two of the highlights. Who else? So we also have on Saturday, A.J. Jacobs, who is a ah. New York Times bestselling author. And yes. maybe you've heard of him as well. Had him on the show. Oh, great. Um, and he's the founder of the Global Family Reunion, which is a really new and fun, exciting event that he's going to be holding next June in New York City. But uh, the thing that we're excited for him is to, again, kind of share a little bit of his experience of finding all of those cousins and building the world family tree, if you will. Yeah, this is a very exciting thing. In fact, Extreme Genes is going to be a part of it in New York uh, right across from City Field over at the old uh, New York Fairgrounds. And this is something that everybody can be a part of. So if you're at Roots Tech on the Saturday, of course, you're going to want to hear this talk and what AJ's putting together. He is an amazingly fun and funny person, and it's going to be a very entertaining talk, undoubtedly. By the way, I want to make sure that we got the dates down for this, Jen. What are the dates, once again, for the beginning through the end of Roots Tech? Sure. So Roots Tech uh, takes place Thursday, February 12th through Saturday the 14th. On Wednesday, February 11th, we have Innovator Summit, which is uh, an additional part of the Roots Tech Conference for those uh, innovators and entrepreneurs and business opportunists who will uh, be interested in kind of that piece of the family history world. So that's taking place on Wednesday, February 11th, before the official Roots Tech starts on February 12th. Now, this is a lot of fun because uh, these inventors, this is typically technology that we're talking about. And some of the ideas that people come up with to help us with our family history research is absolutely off the charts and unbelievable. 
That's right. The thing that's so, so exciting about RootsTech is, you know, we live in such a technology world and a digital age that uh, it's taking family history to a whole new level, as we all know. And so that's what we love about RootsTech is we try to highlight all of those different uh, platforms and applications and programs that can make your experience that much more successful. Yeah, I think that's where most people go to look now, and, and that's where they certainly should start. But it is amazing how much we ignore the old school way, and, and I think to our detriment because there's so many things hiding in attics and people's basements and in file cabinets, and we still have to track down folks who aren't out there and haven't posted their things and find those folks so we can share them with the world. I'm sure we'll hear some about that uh, also at Roots Tech. Yeah, that's right. We have over 200 classes offered during the three days of the conference, uh, and they range from anywhere to, you know, how to use social media to do your family history or how to take those thousands of digital photos we have now mm. and preserve them for the future. The thing I like to tell a lot of people is that, you know, our biggest challenge these days is to rifle through our attics and find all those pictures of our ancestors. But we also are going to have a problem in the future when our descendants are rifling through millions of hard drives and thousands of photos. <laughs> so that's our new challenge is because of all that technology and it's so available, we now need to use it to make it easier on our descendants when they're trying to look through all of our memories and our photos. Yeah, narrow some things down and make it a little easier on them. And anybody who's ever lost somebody and you have to go clean out their home or apartment afterwards, I mean, it can be a nightmare and, and maybe we are creating a real problem. That's right. It's just not in boxes. It's on hard drives. <laughs> and all these classes, they're, they're offered uh, different days throughout, and people can sign up for those uh, online right now. Where do they go? Yep. So if you go to rootstech.org, that is our website that has all the information. It will show you the schedule of classes that are offered. And we also have a mobile app that's available for your iPhone or your Android devices, even your Windows phone. You can get that and take a look at the schedule and create your own personalized schedule based on the classes that you want to attend and the events that you want to be a part of. So, Jen, this is what, the fifth annual Roots Tech? That's right. This is our fifth Unbelievable. year. And it's being followed around the world as well because a lot of this is being televised to different centers in different continents. So this is, this is pretty cool. The other side of it is this is the first time that FGS, the Federation of Genealogical Societies, is having their convention at the same time under the same roof with Roots Tech. Tell us a little about that for people not familiar with it. Yeah, that's right. We're really excited to welcome the Federation of Genealogical Societies group with us. They will be holding their conference at the same time. Uh, we'll be sharing the Expo Hall experience. So it's really great for attendees to come and experience both conferences, um, but to kind of have those shared events as well. So FGS, their classes will officially start on Wednesday, February 11th, uh, with a full day of classes, as well as all throughout the rest of the day through Saturday uh, during Roots Tech. So you can purchase an add-on pass to your Roots Tech pass that will get you access to all of the FGS classes, or if you purchase your pass through FGS, it can also be you can purchase an add-on pass for Roots Tech. And the great thing about FGS is they bring um, a different flavor and expertise to the conference, and the classes that they offer get a little bit more into the research and the technical nitty-gritty uh, research questions we all have when it comes to family history. A little more advanced, would you say? Yes, yeah, definitely more advanced and more down that path of you kind of know what you're doing, and now these classes will help you uh, advance. And, and a lot of times they have classes that will focus um, on regions, so if you know that you need to really focus on doing some research in one part of the world, then they likely will have an expert there that can help you with that. You know, that's a really good point, because I think a lot of people, when they get into genealogy, they think that, you know, one person can know everything about genealogy. And that's really not possible, because it's different in every part of the world and every time period. So you have to kind of become a specialist in where your people are from. And, you know, where you find commonality with other areas, that's great. You can share that. But, boy, if, if they are breaking those things down like that, that would make for some great classes at, uh, right. at Roots Tech and FGS. 
That's right. Yeah. So we're excited to have them and their experts uh, coming to help field those questions a little bit more. You know, really in combination between the Roots Tech experts and the FGS experts, this is going to be the center of the universe for family history <laughs> that weekend, starting Wednesday, February 11th, right? That's right. Yes. One other thing we could mention is that we have some really great entertainment that will be coming to help us in between the times when our brain hurts and we've been focusing <laughs> too much on the classes. And right just want to relax. And so we have some great entertainment going on all three nights that we're excited to bring that part of the conference as well. Well, and I'll tell you too, from my experience just last year is that you meet people from all over the world. There are all kinds of languages spoken there. And uh, some of these people I'm still in touch with uh, in Germany and, and in England. And it's a lot of fun to make those contacts and just to say, hey, once in a while and, and stay in touch with them and find out what they may have to offer in, in your research back in your home countries. That's right. The great thing about the family history world is we all have the same interest in mind and everyone's very willing to help and networking is a big part of it. Because like you said, if you meet someone who is an, an expert or at least more advanced than you are in a, per, a certain part of the world or a certain type of research, everyone's really willing to help out and um, help you advance your own work. And so this is a great place to meet those people and make those connections that could be a lifelong help and assistance to you as you do your own research. Absolutely. They're incredibly invaluable. Hey, we got to mention Family Discovery Day, by the way, which is usually on Saturdays, right? And is that going on again this year? That's right. Yeah, we have Family Discovery Day taking place Saturday, February 14th, and that's primarily for families ages 8 through up who want to kind of come and get their feet wet a little bit, a little bit more beginner and be inspired on the activities that go on around family history. It's been so popular and we're getting huge numbers that uh, Family Discovery Day likely will ha will be sold out here in just the next couple of days, Ooh. which we're really excited about. But yes, but... <laughs> for those who have missed the opportunity We'd love to see you next year. Or honestly, we have plenty of activities going on with Roots Tech, and tickets start at only $19 per day. So you could come for a very minimal fee and experience Roots Tech still and, and get a lot of that training and experience that Family Discovery Day alone can't give you anyway. Well, we're just a few weeks away now, Jen. So thanks so much for all the updates on this. Lots to find out. Once again, what is the website address to check this all out on? RootsTech.org. Okay, RootsTech.org, and you can make your reservations for tickets there. Also check out classes and find out the entire schedule and map out your days in Salt Lake City for the FGS Conference and RootsTech, the fifth annual. That's right. She's Jen Allen from FamilySearch.org Marketing. Thanks so much, Jen, and we'll see you in a few weeks. All right, thank you. And coming up next, it's a woman who has done what many of us have done when a loved one has passed away, rifling through her old possessions and finding some things she knew nothing about. We'll hear Glenna Johnson's story from Missouri coming up next on Extreme Genes Family History Radio, America's Family History Show. Scientific studies have proven that youth who know even a little bit about their family history perform better academically and have a greater sense of personal confidence and stability. Genealogy is its own incredible superpower that arms our children with super strength. But how do you get your child or grandchild interested in studying their family history? That kind of stuff is just for grandmas, right? Not anymore. ZapTheGrandmaGap.com leaps the generation gap in a single bound. Author Janet Havorka provides you with useful and timely advice on helping the young people in your life become engaged in their own family history. Janet has an entire collection of books to inspire the young and the young at heart in fun, interactive ways. She also offers creative tips and advice on her blog and in her free weekly newsletter. Stop by ZapTheGrandmaGap.com today to sign up for Janet's free email newsletter with 52 weeks of easy tips, free downloads, and order your set of resource books and workbooks. Can't figure out how to get your favorite Windows genealogy software running on your MacBook? Look no further than Crossover. Crossover by Codeweavers at www.codeweavers.com allows you to run your Windows software on your Mac without the need to buy a copy of Windows. Crossover is easy to install and simple to use. Crossover supports many popular genealogy packages like Roots Magic, Legacy Family Tree, Personal Ancestral File, Family Tree Builder, and more. 
Crossover also lets you run other popular productivity apps, like Microsoft Office and a wide range of games. So if you're looking for an easy, affordable solution to your Windows compatibility needs, visit www.codeweavers.com today to download your free trial of Crossover. And don't forget to use the deal code FAMILY for an additional 40% off when you purchase Crossover. Hello, Extreme Jeans listeners. I'm Larry Gelwix, the getaway guru and host of the Travel Show radio broadcast with the hottest travel deals on the planet. And now you can travel more and pay less by joining me on our Travel Show podcast. Cruises, tours, resort hotels, airline tickets, stay close to home or travel the world. I'll show you how to travel more and pay less. Go online to columbusvacations.com. That's columbusvacations.com. Click on radio. Radio, and then click on podcast. It's really that simple. ColumbusVacations.com, radio and podcast for the hottest travel deals on the planet. Got a brick wall in your family tree? Don't know how to break through it? Get professional help from Heritage Consulting Genealogy Research Services. Speak directly with an experienced genealogical researcher, not a salesperson. By calling toll-free 1-877-537-2000. When you call, ask how you can win a free one-hour consultation with an expert genealogist. Heritage Consulting Genealogy Research Services. With over 35 years of research experience, visit HeritageConsulting.com. Did you know your family's memories are being destroyed a little at a time every day. It's true. Old home movies, slides, photos, and audio recordings fade over time. The longer you delay the digitizing of these priceless artifacts, the more likely it is they'll be gone one day. That's why you need to call the Multimedia Center. I brought in VHS videotape and had them transferred to DVD. The Multimedia Center, 2870 East, 3300 South, Salt Lake City. Open Monday through Friday, 10 to 6. Call 801-483-1717 or go to transferduplication.com. Looking for an easy way to show off your family history and share it with your family? Family Chart Masters offers beautiful custom pedigree art pieces and inexpensive family reunion draft charts in any design or size that fits your needs. With a free consultation at FamilyChartMasters.com, you can get started creating a new family masterpiece. Family Chart Masters has over 11 years of experience in creating and printing family charts. They can print any style of genealogy chart from any genealogy file and can create exactly what you're looking for. You'll work with a specialized and talented consultant whose goal is to make you happy. Decorative charts make fantastic gifts for all occasions. And with Family Chart Master's option of ordering duplicate charts at half price along with your original purchase at full price, you can afford to give a family heirloom to each member of your family. Contact Family Chart Masters today at FamilyChartMasters.com for your free consultation. Family Chart Masters will give the greatest care to your family history. And welcome back to Extreme Genes Family History Radio. It's America's Family History Show. I am Fisher, your radio root sleuth. You never know where family history material is going to come up. Back maybe 15, 20 years ago, I had a cousin in Oregon who had a neighbor come by whose home had been built by our grandfather and an uncle. And he'd been doing some redesigning. And when he got in back of a wall, he found my uncle's name written on one of the studs with a date on it. And he presented that to my cousin. So there was one thing that I thought was kind of unusual. And people find things in all kinds of places. And on the line with me right now, from the area of Lawrence County, Missouri, is Glenna Johnson. And Glenna, you had that experience recently, too. You lost your mom not long ago, and you started cleaning out her place, and and you found some fun stuff. Yes, we did. We found some quilts and some artifacts from her wedding and stuff in a chest in the attic. Doesn't that always upset you, though, when you find things like that, that they never told you about these things and, and what they meant and where they came from, what some of the history was? Yeah, and I think people of that age group didn't discuss a lot of stuff. They didn't talk to family about it. It was in the past, and they lived in the future and trying to make the best of the future. That probably has to do with growing up in the Depression, don't you think? Oh, I'm sure it did. You didn't feel like you had anything that was worth discussing, and, and really you did. You had more wealth in your history and what you'd been through than any type of, of material possessions could have. Right. So tell us about this quilt. Now, you, you found this. You were not expecting it. Were you aware that your mother was a quilter? No, I was not. 
I never seen her quilt at all. And it was a quilt that we think was given to her as a wedding gift, and it had neighbors' names on the blocks. Oh, that's fun. So this is basically yeah. uh, all those people wishing her well back in the day. And yeah. uh, now were the names all on the quilt, or was it complete? Or what was the state of the thing? Uh, it was all complete blocks, but it wasn't sewn together. And it was a lot of family names and relatives, neighbors, and stuff like that. And I had to finish it. I had to finish quilting around the squares and around the outer edge of it. And I had it machine quilted. It was just a quilt top blocks. And did it have any dates on it? Yeah, it did. It had some dates back in 1947 on it. Okay, so it was for actually from the wedding date itself. It wasn't birth dates or anything like that. No, it was just around that general area. That's what I was trying to find out when I ran the article in the paper was if anyone knew any information on it because it was just in a general dated area. It wasn't uh, on the date. It wasn't even within two and three years. So huh. We don't know exactly when it was given to her, by who, and that's why I wish Mom had been around that I could have asked her those things. So you say that some of these things then were, were separate, they weren't together, it was just the names, so it was basically a project waiting to be put together. Yes, I wish I had known it was there so I could have put it together for her instead of me. Yeah, <laughs> makes you a know, lot of it sense. Been. But it, it turned yeah. into basically a, a two-generation project, which has got to be a lot of fun. Yeah, it was, because I knew most of the people on there. I knew the names of the people that were on there back years and years ago. One of the blocks had a great-grandfather on there. You know, it was quite a quilt. It had a lot of various names and uh, and dates, and it was fun to find those and see them, and most of them were already deceased, you know. But if I could have got it ahead of time, that's why it's so important to talk to your kids, tell them what you have, because they could finish that for you, and you can enjoy it. Boy, isn't that you know. truth? That is such great advice. What are you going to do with it? I'm keeping it. Nobody's getting that. <laughs> <laughs> Not going to put yeah. it in the local museum, but you're going to frame it? I may. I don't know. Right now I've got it on a quilt rack, but I may frame it someday and uh, keep it that way or I may get a wall rack for it. I don't know what it's going to do, but I know I'm keeping it. Now, some of these names on here you say you don't recognize, and so you're starting a little reach out to try to find out more about them. Tell us how that's going. Uh, real well. I've had a couple of responses on it, and uh, they knew a lot of the genealogy and history and have informed me on some of them, so I have learned some of the others. But mostly it's still just the people that's on there that I know and knew or had heard of is the ones that I know the most about. Are you writing a history of this thing to go along with it? No, I've really never done much genealogy. I may from this point. It may get yeah. me into it. But uh, I hadn't done a whole lot. I did some research on the family three or four years ago and knew part of it. And uh, But, uh, yeah, it'd be interesting to do some more history on it and log it. And I said that would be nice to put down at least who I know and who they are and the names and put corresponding stuff with those names so the kids will have it for later on. Right, because it's already almost 70 years old. That's unbelievable. Yeah, and it was in good shape. I just had to finish and put it together, and so it turned out really well. Well, you know, I, I love what you've done with it, the fact that you took it, and now you've put this whole thing together. You've got a story out in your local newspaper there in Missouri, and people are coming to you. So it's really kind of turned into a, it's a quite a project for you. Oh, it has been. Yeah, it's been a fun project. I've had a lot of people, you know, tell me that they saw it and that they were interested in it, thought it was really neat and would like to see it. Well, we're going to tell our people that if they want to see it, they can uh, go to the link at ExtremeGenes.com, and uh, there's a, a picture of you with your quilt in that article that you uh, had run on the Lawrence County Record there in Missouri. So thanks for sharing all your information with us, Glenna. Okay, well, thank you. All right, and before we get to Tom Perry, our Preservation Authority, who, by the way, is back from CES, that's the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, we do have time for a listener question. This from Tom in American Fork, Utah. He asked, I recently had my DNA reflect zero German connection. My second great-grandfather and grandmother list in the 1860 and later U.S. censuses that they're from Darmstadt. I also have two other lines that go back to Germany. How do I interpret this DNA result? Well, Tom, that's a great and common head scratcher. A friend of mine recently returned from his grandfather's hometown in Italy where generations of his family is buried. Similar to you, his DNA showed almost no Italian blood. And the best thing I can tell you is that you have to think of DNA test results 
as being similar to looking at the stars. At a glance, they all look to be physically close, when in fact they can be millions of light years apart. DNA results only tie you to certain places at certain times, and not all times have been filled in yet. For example, your German ancestors may have been somewhere in Asia in earlier generations, which may be what you're seeing. As more samples are gathered around the world, you'll no doubt see your results adjust. I've already seen changes in mine. Just remember, it's a work in progress, but we're still making great strides. Thanks for asking. If you've got a question, feel free to ask me, Fisher, at ExtremeGenes.com. And coming up next, Tom Perry, our preservation authority, fresh from the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, with some exciting information for us next on Extreme Genes, America's Family History Show. Hi, Genies. It's Fisher, and I've been telling you about MyHeritage.com's amazing new technology that searches your family tree day and night for you, finding matches even while you sleep in documents and other people's trees. Here's a find I never would have made without it. It's a newspaper story about a relative of mine, Paul Sagal, who I knew many years ago. It's from 1943, when Paul was serving in the Pacific. When he learned his father died, he wrote a poem to his brother that indicated he wouldn't be returning for the funeral. He wrote, There'll be no furlough for me. I'm in the Marines, you see, alive and well as I am. Memories I'll keep of my dad. Then the newspaper editor added, These are all the sentiments that will win this war. There are treasures like this one waiting for you now. Put MyHeritage.com superb technology to work for you with a 20% discount. Just enter the one-word promo code ExtremeGenes. MyHeritage.com is the next big thing. It will soon be here again, the largest family history event in the world. It's the 5th Annual Roots Tech Conference in Salt Lake City, Utah, February 12th through the 14th, 2015. Hosted by FamilySearch, Roots Tech is the perfect place to discover and share family connections past, present, and future. Keynote speakers like family man and entertainer Donny Osmond and the founder of the upcoming global family reunion, A.J. Jacobs, will inspire and entertain you. Explore the massive expo hall with hundreds of technology and family history exhibitors. Visit the world-renowned Salt Lake Family History Library right across the street and choose from more than 200 educational classes taught by family history professionals. Early bird pricing is just $159 for a three-day pass. But hurry, it's only available for a limited time. Find out more now and get registered at RootsTech.org. That's RootsTech.org. It's RootsTech 2015, February 12th through 14th at the Salt Palace Convention Center in Salt Lake City, Utah. Your priceless 8mm home movies and your precious family videos are deteriorating right now. Heat, moisture, insects, dust, mold, time, they're all robbing you of your family's memories. It's time to preserve those treasures right now by digitizing them at tmcplace.com. They've been preserving memories for over 40 years. Home movies, videos, audio tapes, vinyl records, photos, slides, and even scrapbooks. Whether your treasures are enduring the humidity of Massachusetts or the heat of Arizona, tmcplace.com can digitize your audio and images without harming the originals and returning them to you with free shipping both ways on most orders. TMCPlace.com can even let you track your package in real time with a special GPS tracking device. Trustworthy, experienced, affordable. Call TMCPlace.com toll-free at 1-866-483-1717 to talk to Extreme Genes Preservation Authority Tom Perry about your project. Or order online at shop.tmcplace.com. And welcome back to Extreme Genes Family History Radio and ExtremeGenes.com, America's Family History Show. It is Fisher here, your radio root sleuth with Tom Perry from TMCPlace.com. He's our preservation authority. And uh, Tom, you're on the road once again. Where have you been? Yeah, I've been every place. It's been really busy. I've been down at the Consumer Electronics Show, getting ready for Roots Tech. Being a single father again, trying to raise a 12- and 17-year-old, it takes up time. <laughs> yeah, it does take a lot of time. That's exactly right. So, you know, CES, the Consumer Electronics Show, is uh, always a lot of fun in Vegas because there's so many things that apply to family history and preservation. What things did you discover there that you want to tell us about? The first one we want to talk about, you might want to cover your children's ears when we talk about this, drones. Oh, no. 
Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. What do drones have to do with family history and preservation? They are the coolest thing in the whole world. <laughs> in other words, it has nothing to do with it. You just like them. No, no, it really does. I mean, when people go to the booth where they're flying the drones, people yeah. are just absolutely captivated. Right. Can you imagine a big family reunion flying one of these for an overhead shot, going to cemeteries, you know, and taking overhead shots to give people coordinates of where to find graves, do family photos? I mean, it just opens up a whole lot of things you can do. I mean, drones are amazing tools for family history. I just can't I mean, see somebody buying it, though, just for this. <laughs> oh, I think it's for no. nothing but mischief. That's what no, it is. No, these are under hundred bucks. You can go to Radio Shack and wow. they've got one on sale right now for fifty bucks. It has a camera built in. It. Fifty bucks. You're kidding me. No, I kid you I not. I want when one I first, now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I can hear your fingers tapping online, ordering one right now. Mm -hmm. But really, I mean, 50 bucks, and it has a camera built in. It's remote control, so as it's flying, when you're ready to take either video or photos, you push the button, and it takes a still picture, or it'll shoot uh, video as well. It's absolutely incredible. And do you have to get it from the drone afterwards? No, it, this one at this price point only has an SD card. Okay, so it's no so Bluetooth take, associated with it. Nope, nope. You want to go to something like that, and they're still not that bad. You can go into one that's called the Zeno Touring Group LTD. has a nano drone that's only 170 bucks, and you can actually program it to your phone to send the photos to your phone, and you can have it GPS to your phone. So as you are walking down the street, it's following you like a puppy. <laughs> I like that. You know, it, it goes with you wherever you go. I guess you could give one to one of your kids and have them take the phone, and you can remotely follow what they're doing, make sure they get from uh, Grandma's house okay. All right, now you're getting me going here a little bit because I'm thinking, wow, I mean, kids' Little League games to get oh, shots absolutely. of the team from the air, wouldn't that be something? It would be absolutely incredible. And with this iPhone app, that makes it just even cooler. I mean, it's just absolutely incredible the things that are coming out with these drones. You know, a couple of years ago, we thought the 3D printing was so cool and it was evolving so fast. Drones have just jumped them. Just yeah, absolutely. Them. The next thing is, this is really cool. We talk about having your iPhone with you or your Android and uh, recording Grandpa talking. Well, there's a new company that has a product it's called the IK Multimedia iRing Mic. It actually plugs right into your iPhone. It's only 100 bucks. You can buy an app to run it that's only $8. And the neat thing is this gets full 24-bit audio. It's absolutely incredible. Wow. So that makes it so much easier. If you want to just use your regular iPhone, you plug this into it. And if you have the newer iPhones that has the fire jack on it, plug it into there. And it's just instantaneous the way it ties into your phone. The audio is just so much better. It's yes. absolutely incredible. That would be full-body audio right there. Oh, absolutely. Does that have any effect on, on dealing with room noise and that type of thing? Yeah, in fact, it does. It has some, uh, in the app, you can go and do all kinds of adjustments and even has some onboard things you can do as well to adjust the audio to get the right sound you're looking for. And I have said a million times before, don't ever just trust it. Always plug in a set of earplugs and put them in so you can hear. Because like we've talked before, right. you're going to get ambient noise. Okay, another thing that's really, really cool, we've talked a lot about are the solid-state drives or, or the SSD drives. They have no moving parts in them, so they don't pick up vibrations when you're using them, if you have them hooked up to your phone or your computer, whatever you're doing. And the neatest thing about them is Samsung just came out with a brand new SSD drive. It's called a T1, and it's only 180 bucks, and it weighs only one ounce. Wow. <laughs> you're kidding. Solid, no. You have never been able to touch solid-state drives under a couple hundred bucks. And so this one's only $180. And it's so small, it gives you a lot of options, about the size of a business card. And so what you can do, if you're sending stuff off to one of your kids in college, some files that maybe they want, put it on it, send it to them, then they can add their photos and send it back to you. And a neat thing about it also, it uses a new XFAT format, which is E-X-F-A-T format, which means you don't have the incompatibility problems between PCs and Macs anymore. Boy, this is ju it just keeps getting better and better, doesn't it? Oh, it is. It's absolutely amazing. And one neat thing about this, too, they come in multiple sizes. You can get big ones for a little bit more money. But you take this, and you send it with your files to your aunt. Then she puts her stuff on it, sends it to the next one, sends it to the next one. And then after it's gone all the way around the group once, everybody's got everybody's stuff. 
it's a great idea. Great stuff. All right, we're going to continue with Tom Perry here in just a moment. Back from the Consumer Electronics Show and uh, find out some of the latest things that may affect our preservation and family history when we return in three minutes on Extreme Genes. Family History Radio and ExtremeGenes.com, America's Family History Show. Looking for an easy way to show off your family history and share it with your family? Family Chart Masters offers beautiful custom pedigree art pieces and inexpensive family reunion draft charts in any design or size that fits your needs. With a free consultation at FamilyChartMasters.com, you can get started creating a new family masterpiece. Family Chart Masters has over 11 years of experience in creating and printing family charts. They can print any style genealogy chart from any genealogy file and can create exactly what you're looking for. You'll work with a specialized and talented consultant whose goal is to make you happy. Decorative charts make fantastic gifts for all occasions. And with Family Chart Master's option of ordering duplicate charts at half price along with your original purchase at full price, you can afford to give a family heirloom to each member of your family. Contact Family Chart Masters today at FamilyChartMasters.com for your free consultation. Family Chart Masters will give the greatest care to your family history. When was the last time you heard your grandmother's voice or saw your family enjoying life back in the 1950s or 60s? If the reason is you haven't known what to do with your old recordings, videos, and films, here's your answer. The Multimedia Center in Salt Lake City. We brought in a video project to the Multimedia Center, and overnight, they duplicated it to DVD so we could meet our deadline. The Multimedia Center, 2870 East, 3300 South, Salt Lake City. Open Monday through Friday, 10 to 6. Call 801-483-1717 or go to Transfer Duplication. Com. Hello, Extreme Jeans listeners. I'm Larry Gelwix, the getaway guru and host of the Travel Show radio broadcast with the hottest travel deals on the planet. And now you can travel more and pay less by joining me on our Travel Show podcast. Cruises, tours, resort hotels, airline tickets, stay close to home or travel the world. I'll show you how to travel more and pay less. Go online to columbusvacations.com. That's columbusvacations.com. Click on radio. And then click on podcast. It's really that simple. ColumbusVacations.com, radio and podcast for the hottest travel deals on the planet. Can't figure out how to get your favorite Windows genealogy software running on your MacBook? Look no further than Crossover. Crossover by Codeweavers at www.codeweavers.com allows you to run your Windows software on your Mac without the need to buy a copy of Windows. Crossover is easy to install and simple to use. Crossover supports many popular genealogy packages like Roots Magic, Legacy Family Tree, Personal Ancestral File, Family Tree Builder, and more. Crossover also lets you run other popular productivity apps like Microsoft Office and a wide range of games. So if you're looking for an easy, affordable solution to your Windows compatibility needs, Visit www.codeweavers.com today to download your free trial of Crossover. And don't forget to use the deal code FAMILY for an additional 40% off when you purchase Crossover. Scientific studies have proven that youth who know even a little bit about their family history perform better academically and have a greater sense of personal confidence and stability. Genealogy is its own incredible superpower that arms our children with super strength. But how do you get your child or grandchild interested in studying their family history? That kind of stuff is just for grandmas, right? Not anymore. ZapTheGrandmaGap.com leaps the generation gap in a single bound. Author Janet Havorka provides you with useful and timely advice on helping the young people in your life become engaged in their own family history. Janet has an entire collection of books to inspire the young and the young at heart in fun, interactive ways. She also offers creative tips and advice on her blog and in her free weekly newsletter. Stop by ZapTheGrandmaGap.com today to sign up for Janet's free email newsletter with 52 weeks of easy tips, free downloads, and order your set of resource books and workbooks. (laughs) 
All right, we are back. Final segment, Extreme Genes Family History Radio, ExtremeGenes.com, America's Family History Show. And we've got Tom Perry on the line, fresh back from the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. And we've been hearing about all kinds of exciting new stuff that can affect our world of family history research and preservation. What else do you have for us, Tom? This next one, for people that want to do some interviews, but they want to use video and they might not have the best lighting in the world, Light kits used to be expensive. They were like $1,500. Yes. They were big. They were bulky. Well, there's a new one out that's called the Loom Cube GoPro Portable Light System. And this cube is only about 60 bucks. And if you want to <laughs> set up something, yeah, I mean, wow. 60 bucks. Anybody can afford that. Yes. And, and it's just a kind of little cube that gives you enough highlight to make the pictures look a lot better. And if you want to set up a family reunion and maybe get several of these, then the price goes down only 50 bucks a piece. Unbelievable. And oh, so, it's crazy. You know what it reminds me of is about 10 years ago when suddenly everybody started creating audio studios in a closet in their basement because it was exactly. so cheap. Things that used to cost $30,000 then would cost five. Absolutely. My first true RAID editing system was $30,000. Oh. And you can buy one today that blows it away for less than 10. <laughs> it's just the way it works. Keeps yeah, getting better. Well, one thing, too, about this LoomCube, one thing that's really neat about it is you can download an app to your Android or your iPhone and totally run it. From your phone? Of course. Yeah, you can totally run the whole thing from your phone. You can adjust for red eye all at the same time. You know, it's all LED, so there's no heat involved like in the old days. And the, the color temperatures are absolutely awesome on it, so they look natural. They don't look bleated out or stuff when people used to just get a lamp and take the shade off of it, and people kind of look orange and yellow. You don't have any of those kind of problems anymore. So that's been resolved. All right. Yep. What else has CES resolved for us? Okay. Another thing is people are always talking to me about camcorders. Some people are in the low budget. Some people are in the high budget. If you've got a high budget, this camera is totally kick butt. It's amazing. It's, JVC has really been leading a lot. I've always been a Sony guy. But JVC has been doing a lot of stuff in what they call 4K, which is the absolute best of the best. In fact, if you've been to Costco or Sam's Club and seen the new TVs coming out, the big ones are called 4K. The resolution is even better than our standard high-def televisions. It's just almost like you want to touch it because you think if you touch it, you're going to feel the person standing there <laughs> or touch the orange. It's just the clarity is amazing. And this new JVC... It's called a GYLS 300. It's a 4K, and it's just absolutely drop dead. It's expensive. It is about 4K. Okay. But it's incredible. And the neat thing about this is when they get this technology and this really expensive ones, then the ones that are down the road that aren't as expensive, they add some of that technology to them. So the old ones are two, three hundred dollars are now a lot better quality than the ones that were two thousand, three thousand just a couple of years ago. So if you're in the market for a new camcorder, go check out JVC's website. When you're ready to buy, I would really suggest you go to bhphoto.com, B as in boy, H as in Harry, photo.com, and check out the prices on their website. If you still have questions, call these guys. They're back in New York. They're awesome people. I work with them all the time. I've never had a problem with them. And you can go in and say, hey, this is what I'm looking for, or this is what my budget is. Give them some different ranges and stuff on audio, video, film, anything, and they'll be able to help you find the camera that fits your category. But if you're a wedding videographer or somebody that wants the best, this 4K is absolutely incredible. All right, Tom, great talking to you again. We'll talk to you again next week, and uh, this is exciting stuff, so keep it coming. Will do. That wraps it up for this week. Thanks once again to Missouri's Glenna Johnson for sharing with us the story of her mother's quilt that she recently found and what she's doing with it. And Jen Allen from FamilySearch.org, who filled us in on everything that's coming up with FGS and Roots Tech in just a few weeks. If you missed it, of course, catch it again on the podcast through ExtremeGenes.com, iTunes, or iHeartRadio's talk channel. Talk to you again next week. And remember, as far as everyone knows, we're a nice, normal family. Yeah.